Oh, wow, that Bible is accurate. Look at what is going on now. January 16th, 2020, Brown Spank and New, U.S. and Holy See. Statement by Ambassador Callista Gingrich on the launch of the Abrahamic Faiths Initiative. And then a whole ton of hashtags. Abrahamic Faiths Initiative. And we'll get back to that. But this, oh my word. Again, this is the, the unholy marriage <clears throat> between government and religion. And I remind you in the past, that did not go well. Sorry. <laughs> United States commits to fully supporting the Chrislam, Christian and Islam Abrahamic Faith Initiatives as VP Mike Pence prepares for private meetings with Pope Francis at Vatican next week. Just drink that in for a minute. So remember, within coexist, you have the uh, relationship of all the false religions, including Islam. This goes along with everything else that we've been talking about, but looking at the front end, more obvious, Nar, uh, Nar Israel, Israel and unbelief, but pretending to be in belief of Jesus. It, they're not. It's a trick. I mean, some of them are, but the ones that I'm talking about that are evil are not. <clears throat> the Masons, this big, giant, one world religious lie that is bearing down on you. I am just Whew, I'm amazed. Mike Pence's office confirmed with the Catholic News Agency on Thursday that the vice president is scheduled to be received by the false prophet himself. Pope, during the overseas trip next week, the U.S. Embassy to the Holy See will continue to proudly support and promote these efforts to advance the Abrahamic Faith Initiative. We are committed to working with you to advance our shared goals of mutual respect. That means agreeing. Religious freedom, not for all. Not those pesky Philadelphian Christians who are John 14, 6 Christians where Jesus says he's the only way. <laughs> Boo, yes. We don't like them. We don't want them. <laughs> <clears throat> and peaceful coexistence, says the U.S. Ambassador to the Holy See, Callista Gingrich, which is Newt's wife. And Mike Pence is a Catholic. We're over here at nowtheendbegins.com, and <laughs> he's introducing you to the woman in the photos, the U.S. Ambassador to the Holy See, Callista Gingrich. And is Gingrich also Catholic? I'm trying to remember. Um, she, on behalf of the United States, is spearheading what is officially known as the Abrahamic Faith Initiative. Bible believers, of course, have a different name for it. We call this Chrislam. And so it begins. Uh, who coined that? The devil in a Hawaiian shirt <laughs> with a purpose-driven light in God's dream. Did you know? <laughs> Did you know that you have a purpose to fulfill God's dream? <laughs> Rick Warren.
And so it begins. And just, that was a joke, by the way. If you don't know my personality, that was a joke. <clears throat> I mean, it's true, but I don't espouse to it. And just as we told you that Chris Lum would, now look, 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 look. Chris Lum would include Judaism, um, Israel, and unbelief. Okay, we're talking Kabbalah. We're talking the Talmud here alongside of Islam, Catholicism too, has now been taken care of as well. All systems go for Chrislam. Okay, and now you just add Nar into it, add Nar Israel into it. You are watching prophecy being fulfilled at <laughs> breakneck speed, my friends, breakneck speed. I don't know exactly how much time we have, but my goodness, can you not just feel the abrupt end approaching very soon? And behold, another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke as a dragon, and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and caused all the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And I take that very wooden literal. Something is going to happen to the Antichrist. And they're going to put his eye out and something happens to his right arm. I think he gets into a battle with the, the prophets, but I don't know for sure. But that's what I think. I think they mutually polish each other off. I knew it was not a matter of fact, if, but only a matter of when the United States would get in line and support. <laughs> oh, friends, drink this in. <sighs> Your friends and family outside of Jesus don't have much time now, beloved. Support for Francis's desire to further the one world religion of Chrislam. But see, it's 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 all the religions together, but underneath Israel. Israel is really the kingpin in all this. So quietly the hidden hand behind it all. She really is. <clears throat> in fact, it officially was last Tuesday, and here's a snippet from the official statement. The Abrahamic Face Initiative, in short, is predictive and built upon a message of <laughs> total lies. Hope. Your actions this week will serve as a powerful demonstration to the rest of the world that through, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look at this, demonic inter-religious dialogue. <laughs> Peace is possible. No, no, the Prince of Shalom is the one that's going to bring this. <clears throat> This being peace, not men, not in false religions, no. The U.S. Embassy to the Holy See will continue to proudly support and promote these efforts. And we are committed to working with you to bring you straight to the pit of hell to advance our shared goals of mutual respect, religious freedom, and peaceful coexistence. And there's more. See, and I disagree that it's just Mother Rome as the whore of Babylon. I see it as all the world religions, all of them, as the anti-bride, as well as the anti-heir. I just see <clears throat> there is a level of spearheading through the Catholic Church, through coexist all underneath Israel. Israel is the kingpin. Isra the, the Antichrist will hail from Israel. 
from Israel. Yes. Yes. Make Pence's office confirmed with the Catholic News Agency on Thursday that the VP is scheduled, you know, to go see the Pope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No details have been released about the topics that might be discussed at the meeting. Oh, I'm sure what will happen to those who are mean, bad, individualistic, Jesus-only born-again Christians. They're not... They're not equal like the rest of us are equal. Okay, what is this? The One World Religion of Chrislam opening in 2022. Interreligious Harmony between Christians, Muslims, and Jews. Look at this. Sam Brownback, ambassador at large for the International Religious Freedom, was present at Tuesday's opening session for the initiative in your government where legislation is drafted to have you murdered. When you don't bow to the devil, are you getting what I'm saying here? Now, that's if God would allow it, but that's the direction they go. I'm listening, listening, listening for the last trumpet. I'm hiding in Christ, but I'm born again. What you are actually doing is helping a pontifex in his quest to create the one world religion. Chrislam is just a, a, a piece of that puzzle. Uh, but and all the puzzle pieces go together. Ugh. It was inspired, she said, by the 2019 document on the human fraternity for world peace and living together, a joint statement of Pope Francis and the Grand Imam in Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, El Azhar, that was signed in the U.S. Arab Emirates. Did you read that? Woo! The document in part stated that the pluralism and the diversity of religions, color, sex, race, and language are willed by God in his wisdom through which he created human beings. Diversity of religions? Okay. The God of this world. So Cardinal Miguel Ayuso, president of the Pontifical Council for interreligious dialogue was present at the gathering, according to Gingrich's remarks. It's fitting that your discussion should take place at the Pontifical Gregorian University, Gingrich said, citing St. John Henry Newman, that a Catholic university should aid in <laughs> no, no, in the discernment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quoting Pope Francis, Gingrich stated the questions that could not be that could be considered by the initiative. How do we look after each other? Oh, you know, Christians have never considered that question. I don't know what what was that thing called? The Golden Rule. And love thy brother. Yeah. Been there, done that. We, we know. We get it. How do we nourish a fraternity, which is not theoretical, but translates into authentic fraternity? Well, they want to make a humanity 2.0. And if, if you want Jesus and you're going to hold to his name, you're not invited to the party. 
not that you would want to be. And how can religions be channels of fraternity rather than barriers of that icky separation? <clears throat> oh, I know who this is. There he is. Oh, look at that. A Republican who's screwing the country over, screwing Christians over, however you want to put that. This is such a setup. Remind me of the two pillars and then she's in the center. So let's find out about this initiative here. I'm sure it will be boring. This evening we're gathered in honor of the Abrahamic Faiths Initiative, a dialogue designed to promote the three things we already talked about, the false peace, the religious slavery to come and the interreligious harmony that will see all of the world come to rebellion against Jesus Christ and basically eat it in the end as he storms you, your earth with 21 judgments as they get worse and worse. The United States is proud to support this initiative, initiative organized by the Multi-Faith Neighbors Network. I'd like to offer my sincere thanks to Pastor Bob Roberts, Imam Magid, Magid and Rabbi David Saperstein for making this gathering possible. Oh, I'm sure God's got all your names. I'd also like to extend my heartfelt Gratitude to all the distinguished faith leaders here this evening. Oh, I want to know who that is. For your dedication to promoting peace and interreligious dialogue. Big giant lie. Flattery, thanks, gratitude, blah, blah, blah. Um, tell me what this is about, though. See how the evil just twists everything and, and acts like it has discernment of the truth, but it's the lie. You see that? Here, here's your Christian Republican president. Why don't you take a good look at this? As President Trump said in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Home of Itadel, E T I D A L, the 24 hour spy center run by AI that stalks you and humans, Muslims, 50 to 52 Muslim countries watching you, data collecting you, knowing everything there is to know about you, courtesy of Trump giving them Palantir. So that's Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. That was back in 2017. <clears throat> 
during his first presidential overseas visit. He said, if these three feasts, feasts can join together in cooperation, then peace in the world is possible. Yeah, that's what the Bible says, Trump. When people tell me Trump is a, a, a Christian, I laugh and laugh. Now, you wonder, how is it that people like Steve Bancars and uh, Sheila Zielinski program and uh, the Jim Baker program and Skywatch Television program and all of the books they push and promote, um, Trumpocalypse, the, the Trump prophecy nonsense, Mark Taylor, Paul McGuire, um, there's another book out. It's all being promoted, and you wonder how it is that these Christians can turn such a hellacious blind eye to these kinds of statements and so much more that we could say, but I, I want to just keep it focused on this topic. But this is the side note. See how your Christian president is taking you for a ride? It's a big, giant lie. And you kind of start to see all the liars around them that keep trying to flag people in with the seating and the brainwashing. No, you've got you got to, you got to go for him. He's the best thing going. He's a Christian. Yeah, sure he is. Message of hope. You know, this is just a bunch of fluff. Like, like, give me something. What is, what is this about? It seems like they're all super secret, creepy, creepy. See how the government is screwing over our country? I mean, this doesn't tell me a whole lot more. Why so secretive? Why so shy? Huh? Why so shy? This doesn't actually, like, tell me any directives or anything. Let's see if there's anything else I can find. Who's this turncoat? Oh, it's him? No, wait a minute. No, we said that that was Sam Brownback. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm thinking. So is he Catholic? Is this? Hmm. Well, I'm still trying to kind of figure out who all the players are. So who's this guy? Hmm. Samuel Brown, okay. Well, 
Who's homeboy? That's what I want to know. Why would they even have a relationship with this Catholic guy here? Well, I mean, they've got Catholics all over the place. Okay, let's find this guy. Former United States Ambassador. Hmm. You're so being set up. He was at the World Economic Center uh, uh, forum, I mean. You guys are being set up, man. Progressive Judaism. Oh, you mean Kabbalah? Was that anything different or was that just the same thing? I'm just trying to see if there's anything else to plumb. Same thing. Put this, okay. Well, they're not, they're certainly not being very forthright in communicating what's going on. That's creepy. Why, why did the women always have to wear these creepy little head coverings? That is the false prophet. That guy is the biggest liar on the planet. I don't know who Homeboy is. None of these people are saved. Not a one. Okay. Well, that is... Oh, wait. There's a video. Two thousand nineteen was a banner year as we celebrated the thirty fifth anniversary of formal diplomatic relations between the United States and the Holy See. We convened programs on artificial intelligence, religious freedom, human trafficking, food security, and the work of women religious on the front lines. We hosted concerts and exhibitions to commemorate our important ties with the Vatican. And we welcomed Secretary Pompeo to Vatican City where he met with Pope Francis and participated in our symposium on faith-based organizations. It's been an amazing year. As we welcome 2020, we look forward to our continued work with the Holy See to advance peace, freedom, and human dignity around the world. <laughs> yeah, well, my Bible says it's a false peace that's coming. Well, see how manicured it is? Well, that is just straight from the pit of hell. Good night. I hope you sleep well. <laughs> if you're in Jesus, I know you will. If you're not, um, boy, they've got plans for you. Thank you for watching. Bye.